Marvel cards, something that I've actually been kind of silently collecting for the last like year or so. Last year I bought quite a few collections of Marvel cards. You could buy like complete sets of cards from the 80s and 90s for pretty cheap. Uh, and CGC just announced that they're gonna start grading Marvel cards, which seems like well overdue since, you know, they're kind of famous for grading comics. Now you can match your Marvel, your CGC graded Marvel comic to your CGC graded Marvel card, which is pretty sick. One thing for you guys to note, is when you submit with CGC, Marvel, and I think there might be one other, maybe Yu-Gi-Oh or something like that, they separate the two submissions because I think Marvel cards are a different size or something, or they have to go to a different department. So what happens is you still ship the submissions to the same place, but then they separate the submissions and they send them back in different boxes. So I actually got my Pokemon cards back prior to my Marvel cards back, and they were technically considered the same submission, but you have to pay two separate return shipping costs. It does split up the submissions, but as long as you have the 25 required for bulk, it still is okay. So you can have like 12 in your Pokemon submission and, 12, and 13 in your Marvel submission, and it will still count towards your bulk price. That was something that kind of confused me first. We're gonna start with the newest stuff, which is 1995, and then we're gonna move our way back to uh, 1990 and 1989. First up, we got this sick Venom from the Marvel Metal 1995. Absolutely awesome. He is drenched in, I don't even know what it is. I hope it's rain. <laughs> <laughs> but super, super cool. This uh, 1995 Marvel Metal is a super cool set. This one got an 8.5. I was a little disappointed with this one. Also, they list it as a silver flasher, which I don't think is correct. So I think they screwed up the label on this one. Um, this is not a silver flasher because the silver flasher would actually have the background would be entirely silver. It wouldn't have these details in the background. It's a fairly new service, you know, uh, cut them a little bit of slack, but yeah, I think this should say alternate M, not um, Silver Flasher. But we got an eight five on this one. The problem with grading Marvel right now is it's not, it's not really, uh, it's not really built out in terms of like graded stuff. So a lot of this is like low pop. A lot of the tens I have are literally pop one. Um, not even just with CGC, but also with PSA, their pop one. It's hard to know what stuff will sell for. A lot of times it looks like tens are selling for, you know, could be 100, 200, $300, and then nines are selling for like 20 bucks. <laughs> so it's really variable on the scale of like what's gonna sell for how much, especially in these older sets that were, I think, printed quite a lot, especially like the, the 1990 Impel that I have a few cards from. This one is awesome. We actually got a 10 in the 95 metal, and it happened to be the Spider-Man. So that that is a sick, sick grade right there for this card. Absolutely beautiful, awesome Spider-Man card. They do still make Marvel Metal cards. There, I think there is a new Spider-Man Metal series that literally just came out. So it's still a card design that they use today. And I I, I mean, I think it's great. We have a uh, Metal Blaster Captain America in a nine. So Metal Blasters were more rare than the base cards, which, are, which Gold Blasters are then more rare than Metal Blasters. And then you had those alternate M cards that we saw with the Venom. Um, that looked like Punisher, and then the silver flashers, which are the base designs, but they have a silver background on them. So this set in particular had kind of a lot of different rarities in it, which kind of made it really cool. I didn't send any silver flashers in this submission. This was more just a test submission. We got this Carnage back. Love this card. Absolutely gorgeous. And a 9.5. was hoping for a 10 on this one. It looked really clean to me, but that is A-OK. -okay. And then we have a couple gold blasters. This is Punisher gold blaster in a nine. This is a Wolverine metal blaster in an eight five. That's unfortunate that, I got, that it got an eight five. I think this Wolverine's super cool looking, but uh, we do have a Wolverine later that really knocked it out of the park. But yeah, these cards are super clean. I got this collection off a guy that said that he just wanted to open some Marvel cards with his with his uh, sons or his family or whatever, and then they just sold the contents of the boxes. So it was almost, it was a near complete set of these Marvel Metal cards, and I took out some of the bigger name characters in better condition to send in for my first submission. So we have Venom Gold Blaster in a nine. That's a really cool card. We have the Metal Blaster of Venom in a nine as well. So we've got both metal and gold blaster venoms 
in nines. The only 10 we got from the Marvel medals was the Spider-Man, but a pretty damn good card to get a 10 on. Now we're moving into 1990 Impel. So first, Spider-Man in a 9.5. Oh, I think it's off a little bit center-wise, but just a little tiny bit. So I was a little disappointed that this one didn't get the 10 but i love spider-man in the black suit i think it's really cool looking we also have this cosmic spider-man in an 8.5 this one was kind of wild the, the centering is a little more off than the other spider-man but not terribly and you know the rest of the card was pretty mint so an 8.5 was a little bit of a disappointment but this this spider-man is super cool as well this is the biggest hit of the entire submission absolutely amazing i can't believe a card from 1990 got a perfect cgc 10 the Wolverine 1990 Impel, number 37, in a perfect 10. You got those nice, perfect subgrades. The centering on this card was amazing. I saw the centering and I was like, okay, I got to send this one because this is insane. And it was insane. It ended up coming back a perfect 10 Wolverine. I don't know what this would sell for. I think I've seen PSA 10s in like the $200 range. I don't know what a perfect 10 would go for. So uh, if you have any idea of what you would list this for, I think I think the play is just to list it real high and see if it gets any offers. But uh, yeah, super, super happy with a card getting a, a 10 in at all, but definitely a perfect 10. We have the Venom. So this is very similar to that Spider-Man. I thought the centering on this one was... I mean, it's just awesome. It's a little bit top to bottom, uh, not great, but kind of disappointed in this, um, not getting a 10. I do think the corners maybe are a little more, a little more uh, soft. I have never submitted sharp corner cards before. So this was very different um, submitting experience, but good, good experience, good to know, because now I feel like I can look at some corners and say, okay, like I'm pretty happy with those corners. I kind of know now, I feel like what a soft corner looks like to a, to our, you know, sharp corner. Pretty happy with that. We got another 10 incoming. We have the Spider-Man versus Venom famous battle in a pristine 10. This was pretty freaking cool. I think this card goes for around 100 bucks, 100 to 150 probably um, in a 10. Just really cool to see Spider-Man facing off against Venom. Venom is an extremely popular character, obviously, as is Spider-Man. So having them both on the same card and the centering looked really good. I thought I would send that in. This card has an incredible story. So I, st I sent in the Stanley. It is off center. So I wasn't really expecting a 10 on this one. I just really like the artwork here. It basically includes, you know, you got the Captain America, you got the Spider-Man. It basically, you got the Thor stuff over here. It, it includes all the different like Marvel characters, but it's, you know, Stanley's face, which I think is really cool. I think this is a really cool design. This card raw at, at some point, I think during the boom, was selling for like $1,000 raw. And there are tons of these out there. So the price came down real fast when people started selling them for that price. And I'm not really sure what a 9.5 would go for. I think it did look up what a PSA 9 is going for. I think it might be like 30, 40 bucks, somewhere around there. So I'd probably throw like 50 on this at uh, CollectCon and see if, it, see if it sells. All right, now these cards are super cool. So these are from the Todd McFarlane uh, collection. Um, he did two collections, I think, where the, they did sets for him. They're smaller sets. They're like 40 cards a piece or 50 cards a piece, maybe. They're 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 small compared to like Impel. And it focuses on, you know, Todd McFarlane, Spider-Man. So Spider-Man, Spider-Man characters, stuff like that. So we're starting with a Venom 9-5. I love this one. He has taken down Spider-Man. It's actually got blood on his hand. It's uh it's much more mature kind of design that I feel like you would see from uh, Marvel anything nowadays, especially the, the Disney shows and stuff like that. So this is really cool, very visceral, got a 9.5. We have Captain America. I sent this one in because it's Captain America and Spider-Man, and I thought the centering looked actually really solid. So we got a 9.5 on that one. I love Todd McFarlane's art style. He does he does so well, it's so, so detailed. So we have Spider-Man number one from um one of the series series two looks like this is a nine five as well this is series one venom i think this is considered the venom rookie card i think you guys can let me know if venom has showed up prior to this but i believe that this is considered the venom rookie card um i think this is really cool because venom is uh taking over the body as the card you know goes up which i think is cool you can see the transition between the symbiote taking over the human 
uh, the human body, which I think is is a really cool kind of design artwork. And this one got a 9.5. Obviously, the centering is a little off left to right, so expecting a 10 out of this wouldn't have been smart, but I thought Venom rookie card, I got to send it in to get it graded. Just made sense to me. Oh, we have Spidey, a very dynamic uh, pose of Spidey from McFarland Series 1. This one is the lowest grade so far. This is a 9 in terms of these older uh, sets. All right, this one's awesome. We got a pristine 10. Snicked. Snicked pristine 10. This is a pop 1 from CDC, from PSA. Actually, I can't confirm it's from CGC because they don't have a pop report from Marvel out yet. But this, there's no 10 in PSA. I think the highest grade at PSA is like a 7 or something like that the last time I checked. So you can see... Um, he's got his uh, claws out, obviously, but you can see Hulk in the reflection of his claws. And then you have Wolverine. Uh, absolutely amazing looking card. Great, great, great design. To get a 10 on that, very solid. I was really happy about this one. I, I don't know what it would sell for because obviously it's pop one. I think the rest of these are pop one um, so far. So we have this Spider-Man. This is the classic design of Spider-Man from Todd McFarlane. I think there's a comic cover that has this exact design on it as well. And uh, this is from Series 2, and this also got the Pristine 10. So I was really happy with this. Anytime a Spider-Man card was going to get a Pristine 10, I will take it. We also have this guy here, which also got the Pristine 10. This is Spider-Man uh, number 1 from Series 2. Another dynamic pose. But yeah, we got the Pristine 10 on this so we got i think six tens out of 23 cards and like eight 9.5 so half of the submission was gem mint which is pretty awesome and then most of the metal cards got nines or higher a couple of 8.5s and then i think uh maybe one 8.5 in the 1990 impel and the rest were nine so overall this submission kicked ass i thought it was awesome it definitely outperformed what i thought i went in with very low expectations just because i'd never submitted sharp corner cards before i had no idea you know what a soft corner even looked like but i feel much more confident now sending in more uh more of these types of cards so thank you guys for coming by i hope you enjoyed this uh cgc marvel card return a lot of these cards will be for sale in denver at the collecticon if you guys are interested in them uh, if they don't sell at Denver, they'll go up on my eBay. So stay tuned for that.